What's going on guys, Travis with Road Alliance Customs. Today we're getting the floor cut out of the trunk. We are finishing up the frame and we're gonna test fit the body onto the frame. Hopefully uh, start finishing this thing up. Let's go. All right, we got a sinking ship here. Just kidding. Iceberg. So I figured it would be easier to take this panel out because I can just get at the rivets from here. Other side. And probably kind of clean this up a bit. Sorry. It's very dirty. Let's uh start cutting this thing up you know take this panel out to get ready for that frame to poke through it All right, we're all cleaned up. I got that piece outside, this one. Um, yeah, it was way easier than trying to figure out how to cut them from the top. The bottom rivets were all right there, and there was just screws in these holes. I think I gotta actually take these bolts out of each side. This shouldn't be too hard though, just one set. So, I think I'm going to put it back down on the ground for now. And I think I really think I want to bob the ends close because this is where the cross member is. And there's really not much room forward. So I think I'm bob it almost right after it so I don't have to cut all of this out, you know. I'm really glad these cars are so light because I'm not that strong. I'm looking at this hole and I start measuring and I feel like I'm going to cut right after the support here. Cut it all the way on this edge leaving one edge of this uh this sub rail and then i'm going to come in and cut it down here as i measured the center of the rear cross member is 36 inches from that from the nearest body mount hole it's like behind the seat to here so give myself a little bit of room this is 38 inches and that's where i'm kind of going to bob the frame a little closer than that so the body can slip on easy and uh yeah i'll cut it out and i'll be able to see i'll be able to set the body on 
the frame and see how see I was looking if I need to cut more I'll have to cut more but I don't think I do from my measurement <laughs> and here I measured six inches back from the center of the cross member that's where I'm gonna bob it just like that little pew, little stubby bob there and that will potentially give me space for shock mounting ground off nice little round bob to it <clears throat> never gonna see it but now I just gotta weld a piece here to close them off yeah I guess I can uh, cut out the floor on that and see where that gets me and cut this floor out quick well not the floor because I already cut the floor out but those subrail sections. See if I can lop that off. See how I cut the subrail right here and across there? So that brace goes underneath and sits on the frame, and that's kind of where the kick up starts. So I might need to cut a like might need to cut like here and straight here to get rid of this little piece here so it can start kicking up. Not sure yet though. I need to do one more thing before I forget. I need to cut and notch this for the leaf spring. These notches are cut out. I need to, so the notches are cut out. I need to box them in, but Come on, stop texting me while I'm trying to YouTube. All right, so I got the notches cut out for the leaf spring. Uh, I just need to box them in, but I put this back on so I can test to see if the spring will hit. Nope. And with the shock, it's not going to be able to bounce that much without hitting a really big bump and it still doesn't hit. So I'm pretty much bottoming out the spring on the shackles. <clears throat> so we're good there. So marked out all my pieces to box in those little notches for the spring. And just gotta cut them out. Got all my pieces to fill this up. I'm gonna tack all this in and weld it up. Pretty simple.
notches are finished. Well, they're welded. I just need to clean them up with a grinder. I want them. I don't want to see the welds. I want it to be smooth. So I got to take the grinder to that, cap this off, grind that smooth. Then we paint it and put it right side up, hopefully for the last time. Got these smoothed out and I made a piece to go on the end. Just got to weld that around and smooth it out. And that'll be it. So let's get on that now. I just put a clamp on the uh, the main leaf just so the rear end wouldn't tip and move around so much because I don't have the rest of the leaves on here and it's just just kind of loosely mocked up enough so I can roll this thing around. So let's get this body on. Let's stop messing around and get this body on this frame. Okay, we're in, uh, it's touching right there on both sides, I need to cut that away and also the leaf spring hits the uh, the wheel well there so I need to cut into that a little bit <clears throat> but other than that it's fitting pretty good looking good those are 16 616 so that's it's a lot smaller than what he's doing and there is no there's no there's only one leaf in the back too so that's that's making a big difference I should actually put I should put all the leaves in. Yeah, I'm gonna do that quick. I'm gonna put all the leaves, well, the rest of them, in, well, on the, uh, the rear end to see if I need to cut that. Maybe it's just the weight of the car with only one leaf, it's making a touch. So I'll put them all in, put the body back down, and kinda jump on it pretty good to see if, uh, see if it hits. It might still hit, which is fine, but, uh, yeah, the rest of it uh, is coming out pretty good. Excited.
Dang it. Oh, that almost worked. So now I'm going to clamp this down, undo this bolt, put a shorter one in, and uh, yeah, I'll put the body back on and see what it looks like. All right, so I just swapped that long bolt for a short one. Now, spring pack is back together. Oh, it's a lot stiffer now. Okay, so. Let's uh, roll this. Ugh. Roll this bad mamma jamma back underneath and drop it down again. Actually, it looks like I got plenty of room on the wheel wells. Um, I just need to cut those sections out. All right, so I'm trying to be smarter. So I'm going to put the wood blocks on before I figure out where I need to cut because I might not need to cut. The least amount I need to cut possible is the best. So, let me uh, put these blocks under and see if I actually need to uh, cut some in the back more. So, come to find out, I don't need to cut this here. It's fine. So now, I just need to brace back in the, uh, the back half of the sub rails. And then uh, cover this over. And that's it. So, that's actually pretty cool worked just as I planned. All right, so we did what we said we were gonna do. Uh, I cut the floor out, finished the frame, set it on top. I thought some things needed to be cut more, but after I put the blocks in and I put the rest of the leaves in the rear, everything sat fine, so that's good. Next time, all we need to do is box in the sub rails that we cut out and do the truck floor. That should be that. That's it for this one. Thanks guys, like always, like, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And uh, oh, big milestone, we hit a thousand subscribers, which is awesome. Gotta keep going though, can't stop. Wanna do a giveaway, but I don't wanna do one because my plan is it's so big that I'm not, I can't do a giveaway at like a thousand or five thousand subscribers, I need like 10,000 or something for it to be worth it to be for me to give it away so that's that says a little something about it thanks for all the uh, continued support I appreciate it and uh, I'm learning a lot from you guys even though you might not think so the, the comments help and yeah keep doing what you're doing I'm gonna keep on uh, making videos for you guys thanks guys see you later